Luke, it's time to talk about best phones. Yeah. In the world. In the world. Or in the Boost Mobile world. Okay, yeah. Let's dial that back a little bit. Right. We're going to talk about the best phones at Boost Mobile right. as of spring 2022. Mm-hmm. This is uh, middle of May when we record this, so it's right in the middle of spring. Uh, there's a pretty decent selection of phones to there choose are. from at yeah. Boost right now. They are probably one of the more popular MVNOs or mm-hmm. prepaid brands that people have seen, spent time with. I uh, maybe even know some people who subscribe to them. Sure. So the com- conversation we have with a lot of people is, I'm looking for a new phone. What do you recommend? Yeah. And then to that, we usually counter with, What do you do? What do you do with your phone? Sure. What are your needs? Mm-hmm. What do you want to do with your phone? What can't your phone do today that you want to do? Uh, so we kind of narrow these things down and kind of put people into different buckets. And then we kind of point them in a direction. We've got our own personal favorites, and sometimes they're not available at a particular carrier. Sure. But a lot of times with carriers like this, they have a great selection. Mm-hmm. And we've kind of put together some models to choose from, from four categories. Yes. We've selected entry-level phones. Yep. Flagship phones. We got the opposite end of the spectrum. Mm-hmm. And we also have the best all around phone. Sure. Or bang for your buck. And then we also have the best pick for folding phones. Sure. That's a segment of devices that exists. It doesn't seem to be going away. Yeah. Uh, may not be very big, may only have one or two options at different places, but nonetheless, they are uh, there are people who need that type of phone or want that type of phone. Or just want a different style phone. Yeah. So Let's get started with entry level. Sure. Uh, At Boost Mobile, what did we choose? Uh, So for entry level, these are the phones that, you know, it's a good phone, but doesn't give you a whole lot of frills. Uh, This is the TCL 20XE. Mm -hmm. Um, TCL is a relatively well-known brand now. For Mm -hmm. a while, it was one of those that, you know, nobody knew. Mm -hmm. Um, But they've been around for a bit. And uh, with this one, you're getting... uh, a 5,000 milliamp battery. Mm-hmm. It's running Android 11. Um, it comes in uh, th- three gigs. Uh, With 32 gigabytes of storage? Yep. Yep. And a it also has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So that's some of these little features that, you know, people care about. If, if, mm-hmm. if I have a phone I'm, or I'm getting a phone and I don't really do a lot, uh, I'll I don't have maybe Bluetooth headset, right? but I do have headphones. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of phones nowadays, you're not going to get that headphone jack. So this is the idea of the person that doesn't necessarily care about the latest and greatest mm-hmm. of the phones, but I need something good. Yep. And this has got a nice size screen. Yep. Six and a half inch. It's a good entry level. If you think back to what we started out with mm-hmm. you know, years ago, this is way way beyond (laughs) what even you know four or five years ago Mm -hmm. would have considered a a solid mid-range phone so Mm -hmm. at this entry level you're looking at about 120 dollars and i believe currently you can get it for the lowest 50 dollars yeah uh through boost mobile so that's the tcl 20 Mm -hmm. xe yep uh let's move up a little bit to the best all-around value yeah this isn't the flagship phone Mm -hmm. or the best overall phone but if we said hey you know Money isn't quite the object, but I just want something that says, you know, I don't want to spend more than I need, but I still want to make sure I walk away with enough phone for my needs. Yeah. Something that's maybe going to last me a couple years. Mm-hmm. Um, so the all around is for us at Boost is the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. Yeah. Um, the A series is, it's kind of, you know, we hear about the, the S 22 is the latest and greatest. Mm-hmm. We hear about the galaxy S series. The a series to me is kind of the Samsung light phones. Yeah. Almost. Yep. Um, they're great. It's almost like varsity and junior varsity. Sure. So these are still great devices mm-hmm. that aren't going to have some of the bleeding edge technology, but some of the things that are in this have kind of found their way into the A series. Yeah. So with that, like the water resistance, the IP67, yep. uh, massive batteries, Android 12, 5G ca- you know, capability. Mm-hmm. It's a $300 phone now. Right. So, you know, a couple of years ago, a 5G phone was easily 800 bucks. Right. So uh, six and a half inch screen, 
up to 128 gigabytes of storage. And then you've got multiple cameras on the back, mm -hmm. including one that's a 64 megapixel. Uh, so for 300 bucks, we would say that that's probably your best all around value yeah. bang for your buck. Yeah. Now, if somebody comes to you and says, Luke, I'm looking for something that is, I, you know what? I don't care about the money. I want something that's going to last me a really long time. Mm -hmm. I want all the best stuff that's out there. Right. Uh, what did we pick there? So then we will push you to the Galaxy S series, and mm -hmm. this is the S22 Ultra. Uh, so this is going to be a 6.8 inch screen. Mm -hmm. It's going to have uh, the stylus, the support for the, the V Pen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's running Android 12. 5,000 milliamp battery, 120 gig storage, 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, it's got a 12 megapixel camera. It has um, a, a wide lens. It has a telephoto lens. An ultra wide, yeah. Uh, 10 times optical zoom. It, I mean, you're getting the latest and greatest of kind of the technology of mm -hmm. the different aspects that you're looking for in a phone. Um and this one's coming in at uh, $1,300. Okay, yeah. Let me. So I just want to double check why you keep talking about yeah. that. But yeah, that that is the high end. Uh, you talked about the S Pen yeah. capability too. It's not just for marking up no. productivity. Samsung does some other really cool things with their S Pen, right. including using it as a uh, remote for taking photos. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, a, it's more than just drawing on your screen and keeping notes. So... The Galaxy S22 is available in a variety of options. There's two or three of them to choose from. But if you're leaning into it and saying, hey, give me all of it, right. uh, then you're looking at about $1,300 uh, for that. And right now, it looks like it's on sale. Uh, you can maybe get it for as low as eight. Right. Yeah. And so that, you know, they ha like you said, they have different sizes. There's 120 gig up to 256. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's where your price differentiation comes in. Uh, but yeah, this is, if you, if you're looking, I'm getting a new phone. I want a phone that's going to last me a while and it has all the new features. Uh, the S 22 ultras, the mm -hmm. one we're going to tell you about. And then the fourth option we have is if you want something a little different, mm -hmm. you want, uh, you know, yeah, I want a good camera. I want a fast phone. I want the ability to, you know, do all these things. But I want it to be slightly different. Mm -hmm. I, I want to kind of make a statement with my phone or I I want some more. Is there any other technology that brings in the folding display? Yeah. So that's a thing that, uh, you know, like you said, is, is come around and it's not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, now this is the the third iteration of this yeah. It is the galaxy z flip three yeah uh, there's a flip and there's a fold mm -hmm. the flip is the one that kind of folds like a compact right like a uh, clamshell style phone that you would see you know 15 years ago right so that it folds up real nice fits in the pocket it is a solid combination of mid-range to upper tier hardware mm -hmm. uh, in terms of performance with more of the uh, you're paying for the design, the form factor, the portability. It is uh, it's a very cool, unique design. Yeah, uh, and something that I, I wish it came around a little bit earlier. Sure, I, I think this this is a, a design that could have long legs uh, for people that you know. Once you go to this design, I think you kind of are going to return to that time mm -hmm. and again. So uh, in terms of specifications, you open this thing up, you're looking at a 6.7 inch display, yep. 128 gigabytes of storage, uh, two cameras on the back, 12 megapixels each. You've got Android 11, so it's a pretty current version. Yeah. You know, it's not quite the latest, but uh, yeah. So it's available in two different colors. It's a little more stylish mm -hmm. too. So it you may have seen some advertisement from Samsung on this. Uh, yep. You can also uh, learn more about it at Samsung's website. Sure. But the uh, the Z Flip Three is our pick for folding technology, yep. and you're looking at about seven hundred dollars. It's not bad. Yeah, and it may go up depending on if there's any sales going on. Sure. Uh, so something else to consider too, if you're looking for a phone that's you know. There are plenty of others from Boost, but you can also find your phones direct from the manufacturer. Yeah. Keep an eye out. You know, if you want to get an unlocked device, you can go to Boost's website. We've got some coverage on Boost, so you can learn more about them as an MVNO. Yep. 
Uh, but you can also check to see if you can use your device, if you have an existing device, or learn some more about it, find something that will be compatible with it. Boost offers a lot of uh, great help for that. Yep. So that's our pick for the four best phones at Boost Mobile as of spring 2022. Thanks for watching. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of the podcast. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, feedback, concerns, comments, anything, shoot us an email at podcast at androidguys.com. We'd love to hear from you one way or the other. Uh, Luke, if someone wants to get a hold of you, how do yeah. they do that? Uh, I am on Instagram and Twitter at Luke Gall, G-A-U-L. And I'm on Instagram at Scott Webster and Twitter as SWebster77. Until next time, thanks for listening. See ya.